today's dish, I'm going to be making a boya base or fish stew. The fish that I've got today, I received from my father-in-law and a foggy on the shigram. With some lovely monkfish, lovely megan fillets, and the prawns. The salmon I purchased myself. With the bones from the fish, I've made a lovely light fish stock. Basic ingredients, some carrot, some peppers, some courgettes, some leek, some onion, some lovely fennel, bit of aniseed, a couple of tins of tomatoes, bay leaf, tarragon, and some garlic. First thing we're gonna do is olive oil into our pan. I want a generous amount of olive oil in that pan. To that, we're gonna add our onion. We want our harvest egg to go in first, get that cooking and softened, along with our carrot. Again, some work. Just gonna sweat the veg off and salt in there to help throw out some moisture once it tanks up. This is melting a couple of minutes, followed by our fennel. The lovely anise flavour in there. Just one bulb. Corn All of our pepper, one red, one yellow, one small courgette, a thinly sliced leaf. Lovely colour. Three chopped cloves of garlic. A good couple of table things of tomato puree. Just want to scoop that out. Followed by a couple of babies. We'll just remember to fish that out once the dish is finished. It's not a massive deal if someone comes across it. A good teaspoon of tarragon, again, that'll give it some more aniseed flavour. Followed by two tins of chopped tomatoes. to come back up to temperature, followed by our lovely light fish stock. Now the fish stock itself, catch that residue in the bottom, the fish stock itself, just the bones into a pan, submerged in cold water, brought up to simmer, skimmed, 20 minutes, lovely flavoured stock. Now I'm just going to pop the lid back on there and let it come up to simmer. Now in all the excitement and array of ingredients, I actually forgot to add the most important part. A glass of wine. Not too late at this stage, the thing's going to come up to the boil anyway, it's going to reduce and it'll cook out anyway. So let it back on and we'll come back to it very shortly. Now it's been on for a good 40 minutes now and we can just see it's reduced down nicely, it's got more body to it, so it's got a lot more depth to it. So we'll just have a wee taste. Mm, yeah. It's a bit of a touch of salt. Plenty of cracked black pepper. A couple of drops of the impedance. Wait a minute. So on there, we've got that the fish stock I spoke about earlier on. Uh, if you didn't want to make your own fish stock or you couldn't, uh, a fish stock cube would be just as good. Now we're going to go in with our fish now. We're going to go in with uh, the meatier cuts first because they are going to take slightly longer. I'm trying to cut them into the same kind of size. So, we're going to the monkfish first. 
drop that in. This is gonna add bags more flavor. So we'll give that about a minute head start. Now in with our salmon. I've kept it nice and chunky because there's nothing, I wanna show the fish off. Don't do tiny little pieces that you can't see or even barely taste or not being able to identify each component. We really just want to show that off. I just want to just be gentle with it now. So I'm just going to take that to temperature. Give it another couple of minutes. So after a couple of minutes, beautiful. We'll now add our Megram. You can see how there's no airs or graces. This is just a lovely, simple structure. Followed very swiftly by our prawns. And at this stage, everything will cook at exactly the same time. You can see the quantities here is rather substantial. That's what the shell's on. If you wanted to spend the time shelling the prawns, all I've done is uh, devein them. It's just taking the, the dirt track from the, from the prawns. Gentle in there. And I'll put that on for another, coming up to temperature for another couple of minutes. So, the final moments of our Booyah base. Just have one final taste. Hmm. All the flavours are really coming together now from all the fish, the tomato, the fish dog, our herbs. If you're unsure what to look for flavour wise, always go with your first instinct. It's alright for me to stand here and say this is tasty, which it is. But if you think it needs anything else, just tweak it how you want to tweak it. Now we'll just plate up. So for this kind of stew, you could pretty much put the pan in the middle of the table or a nice presentation bowl. I'm just gonna ladle it up in this serving bowl here. And we want a nice balance of the megrim, the salmon, the prawns, and the monkfish. Now, a generous scattering of flat leaf parsley. And there we have it. And all that's left to do is just tuck in and enjoy with some nice crusty bread. Enjoy.